this is Sandra D. Thanks for joining me for a video on distress stain backgrounds. Distress stains are water-based dye inks that can be used for quick and easy ink coverage. They come in a bottle like this with a dabber top. Basically by pressing on the dabber top ink is released. And what I call these guys is little bottles of inky goodness. <laughs> they come in all the standard distress ink colors that you're familiar with as well as white picket fence and they just come out with metallics which are brush, brushed pewter, tarnished brass, and antique bronze. What I love about these is they're just like the ink pads and in that they react to water which allows for great blending techniques. Today in fact I'm going to show you three <laughs> simple and fun background techniques that I hope you'll enjoy. So for the first one, we're just going to apply two colors of ink to a tag. Like I mentioned, if you press down, that's how the ink will come out. Now I'm going to spritz it with water with my mini mister. This will help blend the colors. To blend them further, I'm just going to take a mop brush and kind of pat. And this will help blend the colors. If you don't happen to have a mop brush like this, you can use a makeup brush and those work well too. So now what I would either do is let this dry naturally or hit it with a heat gun and then I'd start doing other things on top of that. So that's technique number one. For technique number two, I'm going to first apply one color to the entire tag. And generally what you're going to want to do is start with a lighter color. In this case, I'm using the Broken China. which is a really pretty blue color. Now what I'm going to do is go back with a darker color. This is Faded Jeans. And I'm going to dab the second color just to the edges of the tag. And I'm going to take my craft scraper and just scrape it up. I'm going to do it to the other side. And do the same thing. Just kind of scrape it up. I don't feel like I got enough there. So I can get a little bit thicker. Ooh, now I'm really scraping it. So you'll see that's one way of blending the two colors together and getting a unique look. If you want to, you could also add some of the metallic. Before you use the metallic or the white picket fence, you need to shake them first. There's a little ball in there that will help mix them up. So I'm just going to go back through and add a little bit of the pewter and do some scraping. And now we'll get a little bit of a metallic effect to that as well. Now again, I can either let it dry, which I'm going to do, or I could hit it with a heat gun for it to dry faster. Now for the third technique, I'm going to apply one color across the entire tag. In this case, I'm using old paper. Pretty good coverage on the tag. Now I'm going to spritz it with water with my mini mister. Get it good and wet. Remember it reacts 
these inks react to water. So I'm going to dab a little bit on the edges and see how it's already starting to react. Which is pretty cool. Now I can go back with a mop brush and really just blend it. for a nice blended look. And again, we would let this one dry or heat it with a heat gun. You can do these techniques, not just on tags, but on cards, scrapbook pages, journals, canvases, and more. The sky is kind of the limit. I wanna show you a tag that I was working on a little bit earlier today. And this I did, uh, by applying the ink on the entire tag and then dabbing the second color on the edges and dragging it. And I used the broken china for the background and the faded jeans for the corners. And then I added just a little bit of the brush pewter on the edges and scraped it. Then I stamped on it with archival ink. And to get the color to color in, what I used is just some more distress stains and a couple of different colors and and painted with a water brush and the easiest way to do that is just dab a little on your craft sheet pick it up with a paintbrush and in this case is a water brush and then just paint directly where you want more color on your tag you can even add some little shading or highlights or more color wherever you want it and that's kind of another fun thing to do with distress stains I think that's why I love them so much and why I call them little bottles of inky goodness is because they're so versatile I hope you've enjoyed this distress stain background ideas that I've shared with you these are fun and easy techniques so go grab a few bottles of distress stains and go get crafty thanks for watching